Hey everyone, and welcome back to Crashlander on Scrap Mechanic. In the last episode, jumped in... Oh no, maybe that was the episode before the last one. Okay, this might have been the last two episodes, but either way, recently completed the, um, the cozy to a drivable, usable state. It's not done. There's still painting and some more bodywork and stuff to do, but it's usable. Um, loaded it up, and then drove to the HQ, found the people, talked to them, I think that might have been two episodes, I'm not sure, and then got some missions and stuff from them, checked around the place more. Um, as you can tell, I, I have to bring Ivan to glow poop now, and I didn't before, and then I have to go to a new location that we got. So, that will be this video. Likely stopping somewhere... Uh, I could just use the fuel that's... Yeah, I was also going to do something else really quick, but I could just use some of the fuel that's in the... Um, truck. But... I don't want to. So I might stop and get fuel, some oil and make some fuel. But, yeah, um... Really quickly, I'm just putting on some blocks so they can't twist around and fall off as they have been. So just kind of bear with me for a moment. Oops. I guess it'd be easier to self on the lift. I've been playing gear blocks a lot lately, and I've pretty much only been playing scrap mechanic for recording videos. So. In Gearbox, you have to freeze the creation to edit it, and in this, that's the equivalent of freezing, so... Either way, the, uh, new coordinates. I'm really curious at what these corrupted ones are. Um... The bills, and then, uh, the HQ, so I think that's the waypoint I have to go to. It is partially corrupted coordinates of something are 37.23333 degrees north and 11, 100, almost said 11.5, 115.80833 degrees west. I like how... Oh, it's over that way. I felt it was going to be that way. Um, yeah, I like how they, uh, they did, like, proper coordinates and stuff in this. A lot of games are like, oh, go to the new place and then it just marks it for you. Like, this does mark it for you, but it also gives you coordinates to kind of, you know, fill in the lore and make it a bit more accurate and stuff. And as I said, a lot of games just kind of don't even do that. It's just, oh, new location, marked on map, go to it. <laughs> At least nowadays, games... Hold your hand way too much nowadays. And, uh, it's so annoying. Like, I've been playing through Morrowind a little bit in my downtime, or, like that recording time, whatever. And, uh, I get lost so much because it doesn't hold your hand. You don't really have a map to go off of. Um, you've got your journal book, and talking to people to find your way around, and you have to actually, like, go figure out what is the west end of the city, what is this specific place they're talking about that it's next to, blah blah blah, and it's just, I'm not used to it. I prefer it, because you actually have to think, and it's more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more immersive, I find. I have to somehow get this entire thing up a cliff. And there's two wolves right there. I could use wood to scale it with the 
Bosey and stuff on the left, but that's a bit of a pain in the butt, especially when I had uh, wolves after me. So, I wish I had everything built up to the point and had enough resources so that I could um, just make like a bridge or something. But yeah, I'll find my way around. I also don't want to run out of fuel. I'm not sure if this is fully upgraded or not yet, so... Pretty much clean back all the way, I just went the other way. Yep. Oh well. This is pretty much the reason I built a mobile base. Because sometimes you just you take the wrong way like that, not knowing how to get there in, at all, and then you kind of have to take the long way and stuff can happen. I'm surprised it's climbing this hill. But yeah, I'll probably um, cut out the rest until I get there. So. I shall be back. I know I said I was going to uh, cut until I was there, but I've come across some... I guess I could have just gone around the mountain. I did end up climbing up the side of it at a really uh, low part. I can't think of words today, like usual. Other way. Um, yeah, I went to a low part and just climbed up it. But it looks like I could have just come over here and not had to worry about it. I'm using... Oh, I thought I was using the wrong thing. But no, found some uh, ember. I really, really need ember, so might as well stop and chop some of it down. By the way, I uh, instead of mentioning it later and possibly forgetting, I thought I would just put it now and kind of stick this in. I'll probably cut this part, but. Uh, This is a lot further than I thought it was going to be. Like, I'm pretty sure we've gone further than between Bob, Bill, whatever his name is, and the HQ. Um, Sam's kind of stopped to get to walk some corn and get some milk. Because I'm a little OCD when it comes to keeping enough food in survival on Scrap Mechanic. And then, as I did a little bit of a mention of, I got some ember, pulled a couple wolves. Once this walk is done eating, I'm going to get back to the journey. It's not like it's been days or anything in-game, it's just been all of that first that day that I started, and because the sun just rose when I uh, started the recording, so it was all of that day, and now into the night, so it's pretty far. It doesn't even take a day to get between Buddy's house and the HQ, so. Ooh, there's a, a loot chest thing to pick up. I will pick it up, and then I'm gonna get that wax too. I'll do this, and then I will 
Let's do a little cut again, I guess. Grab the wax, the tires and stuff. And chest for item. Awesome. Okay. There we go. Oh, I should grab my corn in a while. If you also play Scrap Mechanic Survival, whether it vanilla or modded or whatever, I recommend always having at least a little bit of corn on you because then, like I just showed, you can stop and feed a walk and get food whenever. Especially if you run over the corn. I kind of ignore that. Ignore that last little bit there, but if you randomly pick, ran, run over corn, you then uh, pick it up. This will probably do that a little less than just generally passing it. So. And if you're ever low on food or whatever and get hungry, you can just pull the corn out of the chest or something when you find a walk and get some more. But I've got like five, six stacks of milk right now, so I'm not gonna go, oh, we just ran over a wolf. Ooh, and the thingy's up here, awesome, oh god. Um, yeah, I did not mean to fly the cozy off of a cliff. hope I can get out of here. Um, I get back in the seat. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> I'm glad nothing's attacking me. So yeah. Oh, I just had to say something. There we go. Yeah, um, that was interesting. I was not expecting there to be a cliff there, so... Oh, and hungry again. Oh. Yeah, the, uh, the new place is right here, so that's nice. Where's the front? The place that... Uh... Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so, whoop, there's another cliff. I'm not gonna jump off this one. Not like I did with the other one. This looks like some kind of outpost. Enter the- Oh, this is a mine! Interesting. Okay. Um... I'm definitely going to get more food and stuff before I go in. And clear my inventory of other stuff before I go in too. Um, is there any corn around? Oh, I will grab- Oh, yes there is, okay. Today is your day of being overfed, little walk thingy. Oh. I don't know if I have an eating animation other than or corn. Do they eat anything other than corn? I don't know. I don't watch anyone else play this, so I don't know anything that anyone else does. So, um, cotton bomb over here, as it always comes as a candy, eat some stuff. And then flowers can be turned into paint and oil. That's another thing you should um, always keep. I think it's either corn or potatoes on you in this mod. So that you can make oil. Or chemicals, sorry, not oil. Oh, I need to. Digital. I was playing this with a couple of friends one day in the old um, 
my old creative survival world. Man, that was awesome. And uh, the one I was making, like the camp stick stuff in, if you were a regular on the show, that was a year ago or more. By the way, um, we made a giant, one of us made a giant column of corn. Like, it was a good 10 by 10 or 20 by 20 or something, and then really tall. And then spawned in a bunch of block to eat it and just watch them all eat through it. It was kind of funny. I tend to do that with glow bugs and um, cardboard. It's just put a big box of cardboard on in, on the ground in the water and then I swim around and get a bunch of glow bugs. Check them and bring them over to the thing to eat it and then it's just a bunch of like little bugs walking around eating it. Funny. Okay, so, I'm pretty much full on what I usually have for food. Man, I can't think of words today. And here, all of that. And then this all inside somewhere. Do I have any food stuffs in here? I do. Um... I will grab the extra milk because I want to keep those as background. Just in case. Do. But at this rate, I'll probably end up going in the mine. I'm assuming it's a mine. Yeah, the mine is. I didn't even read that until now. But I'll end up going in there likely next episode, unfortunately. Um. Because. I'm almost at 20 minutes, or I can get started on it, but as I was just saying, I'm at 20 minutes, and I'm not going in there yet, because I have to unload stuff. Wow, I forgot to uh, organize everything after the last episode. Oops. I want to keep the banana too. I don't know if I should have a revival they get on me or not. And I doubt I'll need the tools. If I do end up needing the tools, I can likely just come back out for them. Lots of food for healing. Got some wood in case I need to like build some stairs or something. So, um... I'm going to have a drink of my coffee. Okay, much better. The methane throat just got a like super dry for a moment there. We just went from really cold weather to really warm weather really quickly, and it's my body's not. Like that. Um, nothing in the, the those I should take. And there was nothing really in these that I should take. I just want to make sure. Safe. Um. Two. Maybe use block meat as bait. I don't know. <laughs> um. I'll grab this one because it's. Or these ones because they're not in as. Um. Yeah, I said it earlier. Like a reserve supply, just as I'm going to put this stack of five in here. But I'll keep this one on me because it. I think it refills everything completely. Not sure. I'll leave that one. So yeah, there's nothing I need to bring with me, so I got ten. Go, so I will go down into the mine. I am, however, going to. Ooh, should I back up my. I kind of forget how to do it. I'm going to jump up here really quick. I'm thinking of leaving, like, exiting the game, forcing a save, and then backing it up and coming back in. Oh, it's a good thing I came up here. Why'd I hit that? No connections. Oh, I thought that would have had to have been on for twerk. I was going to say those cables for the elevator look weird, but yeah, they're, uh, you know.
Oh. Okay. So, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I am going to quickly back out. Back up my save. Because I don't know anything that I'm going to run in there. And then, back in. Okay. Editing this video is going to be a pain in the butt. Especially since I'm doing this. The day it's going up. Um, by the way. Now that I'm stuck in... Uh, <laughs> um, I've got a backup of the save. So now I don't need to really worry about anything. At all. Because if anything happens, I can just come back up here. So, let's go down. Oh, there we go. Interesting. And here we are, down at the bottom. Um, I should have brought glow sticks, I think. There's a blueprint there. Headlamp. Oh, convenient. I will likely end up uh, getting one of those. Is that an enemy? This will be great for mining resources, though. I wonder if I'll be able to make a tiny, um, bigger thingy down here. No, that's a light or something. I could probably bring down the stuff with me to make a vehicle down here. Because, yeah, it's letting me place the lift and everything. So I could probably make a little digger and stuff down here. I don't know if it would let me bring it on the elevator. If this works a lot, if this is based on how the, um, the normal warehouses work, we might be able to bring vehicles on the elevator. Oh! Interesting. It's coming at me, so I'm gonna kill it. Ow, yeah. Some kind of like firebug thingy. Do you give? Low crawler. Scoot. Scoot. Whatever. I'm gonna call it scut. Add up. Yeah, I definitely want to bring a vehicle down here and harvest all of this. And. Oh, hungry. That's why I brought so much food. This is really cool. I can't wait till the mines and stuff are in the base game. Did something just flash over there? Or did I just see the light through the rock and it looked weird? I don't know which way to go. Maybe I should... End the video here. See what everyone else thinks. But I feel like this is going to rotate back onto where I came from. And the other direction. Maybe not. Maybe these just branch off. Oh, there's something up there. There's something up there. Okay. Um. I would really like to <laughs> harvest all of this. This is driving me crazy not being able to. How am I supposed to get up there though? Ooh, a bug. No? I thought there was a bug over here. Oh, the drill bit blueprint. Enhanced drill and large drill. Nice, okay. That makes sense. You know, we're in a mine. Drill bits. There's a bug. Come here, buggins. Oh, you've got a thing on you. We can pick stuff up. That's kind of cool. Except now it's really dark in here. And that doesn't glow. Man. Um... Okay, I definitely want a light. 
So, I'm going to make my way back out. If I can find my way back out. And, uh... I feel like I need to get a little bit more prepared for this. I wasn't expecting this to be so big and dark. So, um, I am going to end the video here. For me, it's been a lot longer than the typical 30 minutes that I record for because having to uh, travel so far and so on and so forth, all the little cuts that I had to do. So, that's not out. It's probably still out. Um, so yeah, it's been quite a while for me, and I still have to edit this and get it out for today, because I was very busy last week. Not very busy, but busier than usual, and, uh, wasn't able to do all my recording. That's a big battery. So yeah. Um, if you've played through this, don't necessarily spoil what's coming. But if you can, like, tell me what I'm going to need to go through here, that'd be great. Um, yeah, other than that, if you have any tips or tricks or questions, let me know. Put them in the comments below. Blah, blah, blah. Didn't mean to rhyme. No. Bad at doing outros. <laughs> um... I just want to watch the elevator open. Interesting. Okay, so yeah. Um, there's still community builds, there's still the building help stuff on uh, my Discord and Steam page. I'm getting even worse with words now, so yeah. By the way, um, still doing those, so feel free to submit stuff to those. I just haven't been recording community builds as often because of stuff that's gone on. It's just recordings taking a lot out of me, like, on top of everything else. So, by the way, next episode, I will be more prepared for that underground stuff. I'll probably make the headlamp. I might try and make a little buggy of some kind if I can have enough resources or try and take even the cutter down it might fit um or just rebuild it down there that'd be kind of neat by the way under there in the next episode if you have any tips or tricks let me know um i'll record the next next week's episode as close to next monday as i can so that any comments that come in will actually help within the next week so yeah um by the way as usual i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching